Here's a quick App Sketcher tutorial. App Sketcher is a great app to sketch out your next great app idea. It's a very simple app, yet a powerful tool to share your vision with your development team, your friends, or anyone else you want to share with. Before we begin, here's a quick tip though. To get the best results with App Sketcher, I recommend that you use an iPad friendly stylus. You can get these at most electronic stores and definitely at the Apple store. I personally use the bamboo stylus, which I really, really like. So let's get started. App Sketcher is made up of two main screens, the project screen, which you see here, and the sketch screen, which I'll show you in a minute. The project screen is where you'll keep track of all your apps. App Sketcher lets you create as many apps as you can come up with. In this screen, you can also organize and sort your projects, but more on this in just a little bit. The first thing that you want to do is tap the plus icon on the upper left hand corner of the project screen. This will create a new app sketchbook to work in. Here you want to give your first app a name by clicking here. So let's give this one a name and we'll call it cool app. So, and then hide the keyboard and as you can see the new name is now visible. So the default template for App Sketcher is an iPhone in the vertical position, but you can change it to whatever you want by clicking on the templates icon. Here you'll be able to choose from several standard templates or purchase additional templates via the App Sketcher shop. Each app can have multiple templates, so you're not just limited to one. Once you pick your template, you can click anywhere on the screen to get started. The default pen is a thin black pen, and as you can tell, you can start sketching right away. App Sketcher gives you multiple options for colors and line thickness. By clicking on the pen icon, you can see that there's colors ranging from black to different shades of gray, red, green, blue, and three different line thicknesses. So if we wanted to sketch, say, something in blue in a medium line thickness, you can by just doing that and selecting it. Or if you wanted to switch to red and use a thick line, you can do that as well. You can even insert text boxes by clicking on the text icon, text box icon, right next to the pen icon. So we could do that and you pick anywhere on the screen where you want to put that text box. So we'll do it right here. And this can be something like great feature. Once you're done typing, once again, you hide the keyboard and there it is. One of the things you can do with the text box though, is you can move it by tapping on the text box. You have a little move icon and you can remove this or move around this text box anywhere on the app design screen that you would like. Again, once you're done, you hide the keyboard and you are ready to go. In case you make a mistake, let's say you're sketching something here and uh, we want to go here and we're sketching something and we make a mistake, you can either use the eraser, which is located right next to the text box, or you can undo and redo. And as you can tell down here, it's undoing and redoing. If you make a mistake, you could also clear the entire page by clicking on this icon, which is the trash can. And it'll ask you, are you sure you want to clear the entire page? You can either hit OK or you can hit Cancel. Once you're done sketching your first screen, you can continue to go ahead and add pages by clicking on the icon on the bottom right hand corner, which is the right arrow. As you can tell, it'll flip over and give you a new page. Now remember, you're not limited to just this template that you started with. You can come right back up here and change it, let's say, to the horizontal version of the iPad. And now you can sketch something in here as well. So we'll do something like that. And because you're using a stylus, although you can use your finger, you could write all kinds of text on your app before sharing it. So now that you've done that, let's say that as your project grows, you want to rearrange the screens. Well, you can do that in App Sketcher by hitting the rearrange icon. Once you hit the rearrange icon, you're going to see all the screens that you have. In this case, we've drawn two screens. So what you want to do to rearrange the screens is to tap the screen that you want to move, 
tap and hold until you see it highlighted slightly highlighted and then you can move it into whatever position you'd like so in this case i just flip flop both pages once you're done you tap anywhere on the screen and once you click back you're going to notice that this now becomes one of two and the first page that we drew is now page number two now as your project grows you have many different ways to share so by clicking on the options icon, you're going to find that you can either save a particular page to photos, you can email the project as a PDF, you can even link to your Dropbox account. So if you have a dropbox.com account, you can link your account right there and then save all of your projects to Dropbox. And finally, you can print the page. So that's it. It really is pretty simple. Now to get back to the home screen, you want to tap on the iOS device uh, icon on the upper left hand corner and it will take you right back to your main project screen and there it is cool app that's the app that you just worked on now you can continue to add projects by hitting on the plus icon and we will just won't change the name of that one I'll just uh, sketch a little something here on the screen um, that could be the splash screen and again tapping this takes you right back to the home page and now you'll notice that we have cool app which is the first one that we did and we have sample app which is the second one that we did now on this screen, you can also rearrange the uh, projects. And you do that by tapping on the rearrange icon right up here. Now you have two options. You can either sort by date or by title. So in this case, I'm gonna pick title. And you'll notice that when I do, I'm sorry, by date, and it was sorted by title. Uh, but once I click by date, you'll notice that the newest one, which is sample two, is the one that comes up first and if I change it back to title cool app will be number one now to get into a project you double tap on it and it'll open the project to delete a project you tap once and you'll notice that there's a red outline and you just tap this X at the bottom of the screen and it's gone and that's it that's app sketcher very simple very powerful ready to start taking your ideas